Hey guys, Ben here. Just wanted to do a quick video on a product we recently purchased. It's the uh, Telesen 6 inch dome. Uh, this thing houses, I think it's the, the GoPro Heroes 5, 6 and 7. Um, there's a few different ones of these kinds of housings out there, but um, we needed something pretty quickly. Um, didn't want to spend lots of money because we've got our all our other underwater housings and so on, so we thought we'd give this one a go. It performed okay, so stick around and I'll tell you what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, and um, show you a couple of shots. And hopefully uh, this vid helps you guys out if you're um, potentially considering one of these. There are a number of options out there when it comes to a dome port for your GoPro. Uh, the thing that I really did like about this one was the weight. Um, it's it's fully made out of plastic, so it's nice and light. It's portable, and for us, we're lugging so much other camera gear around. It, it was good to have something pretty lightweight, and I think this will come in handy for you know, like if Di and I are having to you know trek up a mountain or. You know, we're carrying a drone, we're carrying the RED, we're carrying all these other cameras and generally we might be going somewhere, we're always around water, there could be a waterfall, there could be, you know, something there. I think being able to have this nice and lightweight that we can just chuck into a backpack, um, that's going to be really handy. So firstly, with our other cameras that we use in the water, we've always got good, clean vision um, of the shots that we're setting up, the shots that we're composing. With this, the thing that really frustrated me was that on the back, the trigger system really um, covers up the back of the screen, so it makes it really hard to, to see the shot you're getting. So the workaround that I found worked was that I fired up the GoPro app and did a sort of live view and used my phone in one hand and, and the uh, this in the other hand and that sort of managed to work for me and it allowed me to get the shots that I needed. The second thing I didn't really like about it was the fact that um, if I wanted to change my settings on the camera I had to disassemble it. I had to you can't access the, the menus of the GoPro, but in hindsight what I could have done was change the settings via the app, so not a, not a biggie. One of the other things that I found that were a little bit sort of frustrating was the, um, the water separation on the lens. Uh, and what I mean by that is that when you, when you dunk this underwater and then sort of pull it back out, the water starts um, separating across and that becomes evident in your shot. Now, Traditionally and for years with all my other dome ports, I've uh, either you lick it with your saliva or rub a bit of spit on it and let it dry and give it a dunk and, and I don't seem to have that problem. Whereas um, with this one I noticed that it, it, it kept separating. What I, what I found, uh, another workaround that I found by just before I was about to button on and take the shot, I'd uh, dunk it underwater and then sort of pull it out and the separation would take you know maybe a couple of seconds before it would started which which allowed me to get my shot so I was pretty I was, I was pretty happy with that and managed to get what I needed there the other thing I realized after I got back was that even though I couldn't necessarily see where the water line was and I was using my phone on the back on the back of this here uh, let's see if we can pull the focus again through through here there's a there's a line they call that the water line uh, I haven't tested that yet but apparently if you sort of line your water level up uh, with that you're gonna get your you're gonna get your nice split shot but I'll test that next time and come back to you and, and let you know if if it was if it's if it actually works the other thing I really wanted to mention were the settings that I was using um, depending on the environment that you're shooting in water water tends to sort of move up and down uh, across the dome pretty quickly so um, if you're shooting photos um, I would say shoot in a burst mode of you know 30 frames over a couple of seconds the other thing I'd like to probably suggest if you shoot vision is to shoot at a higher frame rate so if you're shooting in 4k shoot at 60 frames or 50 frames or if you're shooting at 1080 you can shoot right up to I think it's 200 frames um, on the Hero 7 which uh, really slows down and gives you that really nice sort of moody sort of shot. Anyway, um, that's my two cents worth. 
on this on this thing. Just hope that was a bit of a help to you guys. As I said, never really done this before with talking about the gear that we use, but as I said, we often get asked what we used and, uh, and I wish I would have had a video like this to watch before I bought it. So yeah, drop us a comment if uh, you guys want to know anything else about what we do. We're trying to sort of look at new ways of doing things on our YouTube channel and um, figure sort of throwing back a bit of information about what we get up to rather than just showing the finished shots and uh, yeah, so enjoy guys and uh, hopefully I'll see you in, a, in another video soon.